Okay, all right, of sports. We're here with the great Abner Mattis. Uh Man, here visiting uh, the champ, Brian Castaño. Yes, sir. Uh, man, only only a couple weeks away. What would you see? Well, you're visiting Castaño. Yeah. I'm over here training. <laughs> I'm over here working out. I just, you know, worked out. I'm all sweaty, but yeah. um, uh, it was good. It was good training. Uh, I got a glimpse of a few, you know, spar. I'm sorry, a few rounds of the sparring session. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you can tell me more. I don't know how many he did, but he did a couple of rounds, mm -hmm. uh, if not 10, 12. And he looked good. He looked strong, you know, like he should be. Right. Because it's a high caliber, high intense uh, fight that he's going to have against uh, Jamal Charlo. As we know, the first fight was really intense, really... Uh, Really, uh, type of fight of the year, type of fight, um, and um, I mean, as a fan, I'm looking forward to his matchup. Who should be more confident going into the rematch? Would, would you say Brian or, or Jamal? None either. <laughs> I don't think none of them should be confident. Uh, I mean, when it was a draw, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think you could be too comfortable unless, like you know, Jamal was saying, and I, I, I saw in interviews, or I heard in interviews that he was saying that he he took, uh, char I'm sorry, he took Asayos lightly. You know, and if that's the case, like, well, you know, now you go into this fight knowing that if you train hard enough and do, you know, the right things, uh, the fight won't be, you know, as complicated. But then again, you know, that's what he's saying, but we don't know, we don't know. All I know is that none of them should be confident. Uh, they should train really hard and, uh, you know, just really um, just give us a fight that I'm sure that, uh, you know, it's gonna be one of the one of the great ones like we saw this past weekend. and. Uh, and uh, two weeks ago as well with, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, ah, Pandora uh, against Lubin. Now that's, that was a bad, that was a badass. That was a good fight too. Yes, sir. Uh, you just mentioned last week, uh, Spence versus Ugas, man. Spence looked incredible, uh, got got three of the four yeah. belts. There's only only one left. What do you think about Spence's performance and obviously looking ahead to, right. to Terrence, man? I, I, you know, Shoot, where, where do you man. lean on that? Listen, that was, a, that was a great performance, great fight from Errol Spence in consideration, obviously, the fact, if he would have not looked good, people would have been talking about the, oh, it's because of the eye injury, uh, he was out for a year and a half, all oh, the car accident, everything's, you know, his body's taking the toll, like, you know, a lot of things, but he did not, he looked great, he looked good, so, but then, even, even then, when he looked good, you gotta mention those things, that even though he, he looked good, he has those injuries and you got to give him props. So myself, you know, coming from a guy that had injuries like himself, uh, you know, toward uh, Redna, um, I, I give him the utmost respect to uh, to Errol Spence because he, he looked great. He looked like like he was in the gym ever since, and he said he was ever since the injury. He did not look out of timing, uh, out of shape. He just looked really good. And um, the pressure that he put against Ugas was uh, phenomenal. Great uh, game plan. Ugas did not have anything to respond with. And when he tried, he was getting hit. So I think that's what happened. A lot of people were saying that Ugas was not letting his hands go as much, and he wasn't. But that was because Spence was on him and we just kept him busy. And, and when, when uh, Ugas tried to reply with something, uh, counter with something, he did. But then he got hit. And then so he, he maintained more defensive than uh, offensive. And um, unfortunately, you know, a lot of punches got in, especially the uppercuts, and we saw what what it did to his uh, to his uh, face. Oh uh, yeah, looking forward, man. Uh, looks like looks like it's going to be Terrence. Hopefully, right? I mean, boxing I mean, might I, mess I, it up somehow. I don't know how, <laughs> but not. you know, the universe might mess right. it up. But I hope not. <laughs> Hopefully, it's Terrence yeah. and uh, Spence. Uh, man, I, you know, I don't know who who should be favored go, going into that. I don't think. I mean, I mean, we're all gonna have favors at the end of the day. You know, people that we're pulling for. But uh, reality is that uh, this is just an even matchup. I mean, it's one of those fights that um, they're both fighting each other in their prime. They're both young. They both uh, hold titles. They they both great at what they do. Uh, both have a lot of talent. I mean, just. If you say you go for Spence, I am mad at you. If I say I go for Terrence Crawford, you shouldn't be mad at me because it's one of those type of fights that, you know, you just don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You know, as much as people say that or, or, or want to uh, argue that Errol Spence, I mean, uh, Terrence Crawford is just way better fighter than Ugas, way better fighter than Danny, way better fighter than all of the fighters that, that uh, Spence has fought. Well, yeah, Spence can say the same thing. I fought better fighters than you have, you know, in your career. So, but at the end of the day, uh, 
their styles, their, their fighting uh, methods. It's just, um, they're great at what they do. They're really good at, uh, at what they do. And uh, once they fight each other, it's just, it's going to be one of those big ones, man. I hope they do. And just for us, you know, the fans, we're right, looking man, forward to it. But I have no pick. I think it's a 50-50 fight. And, uh, you know, let the best man win. Yes, sir. Uh